Welcome to PartialArc.com. <laughs> Don't do that. Previously, on Friday Night Quests, a mission for justice has brought our heroes to Matet, the capital of the Huang Barony. But the Barony is now controlled by the Elves of Talim, and the party has been invited to a political dinner with the city's nobility. Anything you guys want to do before you go out to the dinner? What are you bringing Shopping with you? Episode. Shopping episode. Shopping <laughs> episode. Shopping montage. My favorite. <laughs> I want to watch. Uh, I want to watch Quatra buy more fish. Yeah. I want to watch Ivy try to buy things with her fish hooks. <laughs> oh, I love those. Are you guys bringing any weapons or just going? In I your, am a fucking to weapon. A, to a fa- I was gonna say the same thing. I am also a to weapon. To a fancy Ooh, dinner, of high course. five. <laughs> I think maybe. Oh, um, Therefore, you am. Oh, Mike, yeah. can you include a little high five clap there for us? Was that the high five clap? I guess so. I can make it with my I mouth. I guess. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That is how high five sounds. That's how my high five sounds. I mean, they brought us a bunch of stuff. No, I don't think that would work. I'm thinking, I'm overthinking it in my head. Yeah. As like. A decoration like uh, Althea tries to like make her like long sword like hilt look like very nice and fancy like it's uh, like it's for show mm-hmm. and not necessarily an actual weapon even though it is. Yeah. Um. After Ivy picks out her dress, she starts like cutting at it and like ripping it. All of the tailors are just like, yeah, this is the person that like finally gave you the dress you picked and now you're destroying it. Yeah. And I'm like druid crafting like twigs. There's one person who goes, wait, wait, wait. She's onto something. And this this is something new and flowers and like eventually to the point what started as like a very plain dress is just like ripped to shreds covered in like flowers it looks great if you like that kind of thing i'm into it nice can you paint for me a picture of where we are are we waiting to go to the dinner yes yeah okay so what where are we you guys are in the uh the culture ward which is sort of the Beverly Hills equivalent. This is the uh, the place where there's a lot of shopping and there's a lot of arts and there's theaters and there's street performers, but like the higher end, like more skilled, more elaborate magicians and things like that. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like your David Blaine's and whatnot. More along those lines, yeah. More. <laughs> not not as much mind freaking happening. <laughs> I was about here. to say it's Chris Angel up in this place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Only at night. So are we staying at like a official hotel or something? You've like? been put up in a, a manor house of some sort. Right. Like okay. some someone's property, presumably. Oh, yeah, they kicked but. somebody out of this place to put us in here. Sure. It's a really nice Airbnb. There they are, crying on the sidewalk. <laughs> mm-hmm. I jump kick them. They're, they're <laughs> summering right now. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right, right. This place was empty. We had to pull blankets off of furniture. <laughs> well, that was done before you got here, but there's a pile of sheets That's in the true. corner. That Quatra, you dusty. didn't read the book. It says clearly in the book you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> um, Althea is very... Now that she sort of has notice, noticed that the chambermaids have been talking about her hair... Mm-hmm. Um, she's very self-conscious mm-hmm. and like wonders whether or not she is going to tie it back and then tries and realizes that that's completely useless right. uh, and just makes it look like there is a cone of like fire like coming out of her head or like a little torch of fire so she just decides to wear it down. Does her. your hair actually move like flames? Um, or shimmer? It's it, it's so shimmery oh. that it looks like fire oh. but it's not like you can tell it's hair. Is it unruly? No, it's very like if you were to touch it, it would be very soft. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But can, I mean, it, you can conditions. comb it. And you, yeah, she yeah. can do things with it. It okay. just has these properties that make it look um, like flame. I think for the next half hour, we should talk about our hair. I think that that's great. <laughs> Me okay, next. That seems very on brand for you. I wonder why. <laughs> because I have long blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Ivy has never, two never before. long blonde hair. <laughs> no. I almost said blue braids. You do um, have blue braids. They're blue braids. Blue, blue braids. braids. Blue braids. <laughs> Mike, to answer your question, uh, Phineas is going to just bring his loot, mm-hmm. 
um, to the dinner. Uh, but all my, of it? Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Like arms full, you're like I can't. Really, I can't hold all these limes. It's, it's they like, wouldn't. They wouldn't let me take my bag. Well, my loot, as you know, Quattro functions a lot like an old Nerf gun, where you can oh, add like right. attachments to it. But this is, you know, my loot just comes in one big piece. Uh, but it does have at the top. If you remember, it has a hatch at the top that my rapier sits in at the very top of my loot. Yep. Um, and it is still in there. Perfect. I've got my quarter staff because I don't know I'm not supposed to. I've got it. my quarter staff, quarter staff. Oh quarter my staff. god! <laughs> <laughs> I I thought you were saying I, you also have a quarter staff. We're gonna quarter staff high five. <laughs> no, but that sure. is that is the new shirt. I've got a quarter, quarter staff, staff, quarter staff, quarter staff. Um, okay, so I found a mirror. Quattro's quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found a mirror somewhere in this place. Yes. Um. So we're not allowed to bring weapons to dinner. Um. You haven't really run that by. Um, Valeria, Valeria's gonna escort you. Hmm. Um, I won't. Okay. I won't. Like I said, I'm a weapon. So just me then. Just you. I'll bring just, one. just one giant sword. <laughs> <laughs> just walking in with it like outstretched. Well, but Althea's bringing the sword on her hip. Correct? Yes, yeah. and I've tried to, you know, fashion it so it looked like ornamented if, if, in some style. If Althea had ever attended a state dinner before, mm-hmm. this is how she would wear uh, it. So it's Knights not it's not soldiers. all la Wonder Woman where it's like sticking down your ass. <laughs> I mean, she could do that too. You grip it with your ass crack. Yeah, she's got real <laughs> strong buns. Real strong. Uh, real strong buns is also our t-shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to go find a mirror and practice um, friendly faces because I didn't know a lot of people at the monastery. Okay. And I'm going to try to look friendly even though i don't really know how to do that okay so i'll try one i'll try a smile but even i feel terrified by it all right um about when that happens i can hear my lips go a a bird outside the window (laughs) just sees it and dies suddenly (laughs) actually as you uh at about the time that you're practicing faces um valeria opens the door walks in and says are you all ready to go and as she does an owl just swoops in over her shoulder and some of the attendants in the room scream and it just sails over to Phineas with a dead mouse in its mouth. Oh, hey Gregory. Um it's I'm not going to ask. Did you find the justice? It just hoots at you. He said no. What? Wait, you just can speak to my what, I don't know what he's saying. I can't. Oh, I didn't cast a spell. Um I know wouldn't that be cool if you I know what? what he was saying? He, he did his best. He did his best, right? He brought he brought us food. Anybody want a dead animal? Like a mouse or I, a rat, whatever that is? I had fish earlier. I'm a vegetarian. You had fish as well. Yeah, oh, fish my earlier. God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a pescatarian? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I am very sorry to break this to you. I thought fish was a plant. I'm glad I got to be here in this meaningful part of your character arc. <laughs> Valeria's like, all right, well, let's... Let's go then. <laughs> now, Quatra, what is a vegetarian? Oh, I only eat plants. Got it. And things that come off of animals. Really? Like what? Fur. Wait, you eat fur? Does it it not is get edible. S- does it not get stuck between your teeth? I mean, I guess you can eat it. As a garnish. It's not... W- wait. Wait, what are you garnishing what? with fur? Skin flakes. Um... <laughs> That's really what monks eat? Skin flakes? You'd be surprised what we eat up in the highest of high mountains. Apparently fur and skin flakes. In the highest of high mountains, there's just an abundance of skin fur. Flakes. Skin it's flakes. just skin and flakes skin and fur flakes. up there. Of what animal? Is it their natural export up there? Yak and goat. <laughs> Yak and goat, skin flakes, and fur. I mean, what, that's not what, all we eat. What, we what, cultivate what, incredible vegetable gardens. Would the yak's fur be long enough to be able to floss? Of course, that's part of the benefit of eating. So you eat the fur, and then you floss with the fur that you ate. Oh, look, we're here. Oh, Oh, wow, that was a short trip. Wonderful. (laughs) And you arrive at the palace. Um, You are escorted inside. As you do so, uh, you are each uh, inspected for weapons. And I'm going to need to make a perception check to see if they notice the uh, weapon hidden in in the loot. And that's a natural one. So they do not. Um, nice. I get some of their weapons because while they were looking <laughs> at my loot, I stole all of theirs off of their body. Uh, that's not canon. Damn. But they do not. They inspect your loot. They nod. They hand it back to you. Um, they stop you, all Althea, and they say, Ma'am, do you have a uh, writ from the Baron for this? I go, uh, well, I'm invited by the Baron and uh, we're buds. So, yeah. Make a persuasion roll. Oh, man. I forgot my charisma is really low. 
have the uh, bard step in for you. <laughs> Just roll <laughs> really well. Don't mind me. No. <laughs> Oh, that's a nat 20. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. Oh. Uh, they know. Wait, does it, does it matter that I have a negative one or my charisma? I treat natural 20s as pretty as pretty significant. Okay, yeah. cool. Pretty and natural. Uh, oh, natural. Um, <laughs> they nod. They say, of course. And as you're going in, they, they're keeping an eye on you. They're obviously aware that you are armed, and but they don't seem to be making any moves to, okay. to, to step in or stop you. They're just definitely noting it. They're passing word around. I mean, it's not subtle. It's a blade at your side, but mm-hmm. they're watching it. And you guys are escorted into a lavish dining room. The room is filled with servants and attendants and all of that, but let's just focus at the people at the table. You see at opposite ends of this very long table, Baron Huang, the Baron who you met uh, just earlier today. And on the opposite end of the table, Margrave Sarji. The elven woman and his fiance. Oh no! Mm-hmm. I do not like that lady at all. I think she was the one that invited us, right? Oh no, she was the one we saw storming into the uh, the place before. But her manservant or her wizard assistant, uh, Viceroy Kamacha, is the one who escorted the or extended the invitation to you. You don't right. know. Right. Yeah, she was very unhappy about the fact the spy was there. She called her spy. So, uh, are there open seats? There are open seats. There are a few other people sitting. Uh, to describe them, you see a human man in his uh, 40s with a pencil-thin mustache. He's got slicked brown and gray hair. He's wearing an ascot. Uh, next to him is a very bubbly, round woman uh, flashing you all big smiles. And near them is a sort of gaunt-looking tiefling. He's got, like, thinning, greasy black hair combed mm. into just not the best look for his face. Warm tongue. Um, and on <laughs> the opposite end, you see a few other people whose backs are to you. Uh, they all, look All greasy-haired. <laughs> <laughs> they are all in hu- human <laughs> robes. Uh, okay. or human robes? What? Ew! Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Horrific. This got dark real fast. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? There so are... we went from skin flakes to human robes. <laughs> it's a uh, Freudian. I can um, eat those. I don't want to. <laughs> no. That. There are some, I don't want to know. some humans with their backs to you. Uh, one thing that you notice is that uh, there are two men and one woman. The woman is wearing the same colors as Valeria, your guard, and all the other guards that you've seen. She seems to be wearing the same greens. There's another man in oranges and sort of like a, they're both in sort of military style uniforms. Hmm. And then there's a man in what looks like ropes. Okay. Okay. Are there any open seats near the Baron and any of the people at the head of the table? Your yeah. seats seem to be kind of smack in the middle. Are they? Are we all together? Yes, you're all uh, together oh, okay. on one side of the table. In the How? main table? There's only one table. Where oh. is the oh. alcohol? Uh, there is wine on the table. Yes. I guess just I misunderstood. I thought when they said dinner, I thought it was going to be like a dinner party, but it's just like a big dinner. I mean, I'm sure that it's like a party too. Like it's... Like that's how it kind of works. Is like you sit down at uh, you know a really long table and you drink and you know you kind of like schmooze and mingle and walk around. You don't sit down the entire time and you know that's that's how these kinds of things work with royal folk. And I totally know what I'm talking. Tra- what? No, I've never done this before. Is there food on the table? There is uh, like appetizers. I just start eating it. Okay, <laughs> so you sit down. Uh, no, you- I don't sit down. I just like lean over to start eating it. Okay. <laughs> Um, with your I, hands or yeah, with your mouth? <laughs> I, I sit down with and my hands. I sit down. Do I, is it only wine? Uh, reds and whites so far. Uh, okay. She sits down. I, like, Althea sits down and like looks at the wine and like just sort of like is like <sighs> and just pours like a bunch of red into a cup. Yeah, I lean past somebody sitting down to get the food. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll reach for a red and say, "Well, I made an exception with the gourd water." I- might as well try this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Phineas, you do notice there is an open seat next to the Baron. Ah, uh, I'm going to slide right up into that seat. As you do, he puts out a hand and says, I don't get much quality time with my daughter. Oh, if this I, is where she's sitting. I'd do rather have when she arrives. Do I notice this? Yeah, I think I don't think he's particularly subtle about that because he's. you're all looking for seats. He's yeah. kind of saying it to you but in an open whisper i go up to phineas because i'm noticing that something is like not quite right and like why is phineas like sitting down right next to the baron and i'm like phineas i think our seats are over here and i start to like pull on him 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably just head down this way. Uh, maybe next time. Love to catch up with you later. Yep. I just keep making my way down the table, just grabbing foods in front of people. Okay. Uh, from people's plates? Yeah, sure. Just, okay. Oh, my God. I, do I see this? Yeah, of course you do. Oh, my God. I chase <laughs> after her. What? I ch- I'm like, why are you taking food from people's plates? The, it's, it's dinner. No, the, uh, no. You have to take the food in front of where you're sitting. I'm not sitting down. Then you need to find a seat and sit down. All right. And the, me, the plump woman says, oh, please sit down right next to me, darling. Please, oh. it has to be you and I. We just have to get to know each other. All righty. Hello. You may call me Ivy. Oh, please call me Valinda. Valinda Thorne. Valinda Thorne. What kind of vibe do I get from Valinda Thorne? Make an insight check. Okay. 16. Um, she is very effervescent. At first glance, you think that she may be deep in her cups, but you look, she doesn't look like there's much alcohol, like, her first glass, maybe? She just might just be like this. Okay. I start eating off her plate. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, please, darling. No, we have to get you your own portion. Darling, darling, please, let's get her a portion. She's starving. I'm not that hungry. I just, it's dinner time. I, walk, not? I walk away like it's her problem now. <laughs> um, a man, the man with the mustache and the slicked back hair stands up. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Please have a seat. I have to uh, uh, introduce myself. I'm uh, Ernest Devereux, Lord Ernest Devereux. And you are? Uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> names are so pedantic. Uh, Please sit. Yeah, we have we have names where I'm from. Like a theater's like doesn't get like the we- weirdest vibe from the, the greasy haired tiefling, and also she's been. Oh, this of- isn't the tiefling. This is oh. the this is the man with the slicked back hair and oh, the, I thought the, the tiefling had them slick back. He has like hair. greasy, oh. poorly combed over hair. Oh, okay. He's like got a bad comb over. This guy's like dapper. Oh, well, in that this case. This is the man with the ascot. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Althea, that ascot is bomb. Yeah, I'm down for a bomb ascot. Um, Aren't Alth- we all? Althea like sticks her hand out like very like, like friendly, but like like firm and is like, hello, I am Althea. And he like tries shakes to his hand. pivot it into a back of the hand and kiss. And definitely, I do not let that happen. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, no need to make a strength roll. Cool. He, you pull it out of his hand. Ah, of course. Uh, uh, I do not know your customs. It's not, uh, as, my, not appropriate. Yeah, my custom is to shake hands like ah. we are equals. He stands upright, shakes your hand. <laughs> exactly. I am, uh, I am happy to meet you. Please have a seat. I'd like to know you better. Okay. Um, Quattro, there's a seat next to the tiefling if you'd like it. Oh, I would very much like to sit. To, I, I'll, I'll first stand next to him. Okay. <laughs> and introduce myself. Hello, I am Quattro. I'm the Lord Moon. I wasn't done. Mm. Of the Vro- <laughs> Velosian Monastery. Ah, fascinating. Mm. Sit. Oh, thank you. I will. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> And then I scoot it. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Does, does that go throughout the whole hall? Oh, yes, of course. It what is it? Is it the one seat that doesn't have carpet under it or something? It's like the one spot that there's isn't like, covered? There's like a carpet cut out and then there's a chair. Just a chair there. Air is a quality, is it not? I'm not sure I follow. What a, what a question. <laughs> I've, I've been practicing. <laughs> I'm practicing conversation. What ah. does your face look like? Uh, completely stone-faced. <laughs> Stoic. I am, With pursed lips. I understand. <laughs> I, I too have... In difficulty with uh, small talk. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Are you from a monastery? No, no, I am from Vatil. Hmm, very uninteresting. Would you like to talk about passing wind? <laughs> Not the one that comes out of ourselves, but the uh, air around us. I learned this in the monastery, that wind is all around us all the time. And it passes. It's always new. <laughs> Anyway, hmm. air, what is it good for? Hmm. Absolutely everything. <laughs> you breathe it. Uh. <laughs> Phineas, who are you sitting near? Well, well, what, what seat is left? There are the three humans on the other side of the table, the table, the side closest to where you entered. Do I recognize any of them in like, like I've seen them before? Make like a history check. Okay. Humans, easy targets. 
That's a 12 on my history. Uh, 12, you recognize that at least the woman in the middle, she's wearing the same green as the guard uniforms, Mm -hmm. and you know that the orange is the color of the actual army. Okay, so she's wearing orange. Oh, no, she's wearing green. She's wearing green. There's a man in orange, and there's a man in robes. And the man in robes, do, what, what like do they look like fancy robes? Are they yeah, like they're, wizardy they're type robes? A little bit of both. They're elegant, but they are wizardry. The, you is notice, it the one that invited us? No. Okay. Because he this is a human. That's yeah. This is a human. Not you a don't see Vice Roy Kamacha in the room with you. Okay. Well, I, I slide up uh, to sit next to the woman in green. Okay. Um, and I assume the the two are across from me in orange. Uh, well, no, they're on either side of you, or gotcha. on either side of her rather. Okay. Uh, so then I slide in across from her. Uh, well, uh. Nice to meet you all, Phineas. Um, what are your names? And she leans forward. I am Dame Eleanor Dunn, leader of the Dunn House. Oh, well, it's wonderful to meet you. Uh, is she extending a hand to shake? Is mm-hmm. it like... It's a shake. Okay. So I shake her hand. Um, I'm going to do... A... Can I make a test to see if these three have had like some wine already and have enjoyed some yeah, drink at this make point? make an insight roll. Okay. That's a 12 again. Um, you notice that the man in orange seems to be pre-gaming a little bit. Oh, seems Trump? <laughs> no, in orange. Oh, He's not of orange. Soon no. to be. <laughs> the orange man. <laughs> the, the, the literal he, orange. He's, tur- he's turning orange, orange from all the drinks. So, Oompa loompa doopity. So Mr. Orange looks like he's been uh, pre-gaming a bit. A little hard. bit. And he it looks like he's also not been... You can tell that he doesn't look like he's well-rested at okay. the moment. But he's holding himself with a high bearing. Seems like an important individual. Just from like my looking at the table and like kind of looking at the royalty. Do I can I pick out like any kind of like status in terms of position where people are sitting at the table? Like, does it look like these are farther away from the power at the table or closer to the power at the table? They are kind of equal. So they're on one side of the table, and the other nobles that your party has been cavorting with are mm-hmm. on the other side. The thing you notice is that these three are wearing much more uniforms. This is sort of a station of the city. You may think that this is more of like the the council sort of equivalent. Okay. Do these and they, so it appears I can assess that since she's wearing green and he's wearing orange that they're locals? Yeah. Okay. Man, uh do you guys sense a little bit of that tension in the air? Am I right? Um I'm not sure what you're referring to. And she kind of narrows her eyes at you. I'm, Did somebody say air? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. never mind. Anyway, Belinda, and that is when I met Althea as we are walking down the woods. And I do believe later on she did give me a bear, but I have not gotten to that point yet. I will get to it soon. Anyway, as I continue to eat things off her plate. Mm-hmm. She's scooping food under your plate, and I'm you're sorry. ignoring it. <laughs> I, I grab a, a glass of, of wine off the table, and uh, I'm going to do a bit of a performance. Okay. Uh, to do a bit of a performance. Uh, as if I, I've, I've had a bit of, to drink before I've arrived. Performance or deception? This would be a deception, I guess, okay. because I'm trying to make it look like I'm a little tipsy. Okay, roll a deception. Oh, wow. That was a 19 on the roll, plus eight, so that's a 27. Damn. Yeah, they definitely believe that, you've, that you're in your cups. So I, I grab another... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I just uh, I had a little bit of drink before I got here. Um, but um, I don't know. I, I want to get your take. You, you guys are clearly... Um, uh, locals, and um, you know, I'm just sensing a little bit of tension in the room, and I just like grab a, the one of the white wines and just start like just dumping it into my cup. Um, Eleanor Dunn casts a glance at the man in orange and says, "No, everything's fine. It'll be resolved." Does it look like she's being sarcastic? Oh, or? incredibly passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah. He sets his jaw when he hears this, and I, I lean forward. Look. Look, I hear you. I get it, right? Like I'm, 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 I'm in agreement. You know, I'm not a biggest fan of this setup either. Like, what do you think? What do you think the outcome's gonna be, right? Like, should I buy a house here? You know what I mean? I'm thinking of investing. I'm a local traveler for music and whatnot. She says, "Well, perhaps if certain individuals get their house in order, and the man in orange just like grits his silverware in his hands." And the guy in robes is just eating. Just seems like he's not even noticing this. And you actually look, he's reading a book at the table as this is all going on. Wait, what do you mean get someone's house in order? Someone's struggling with a, like, I don't know, family situation right now? Well, my family is the city guard. Your family? How's, how's it going? And the man in orange turns. I'll be right back. And just sort of stands up and steps away. I lean in. What? What's going on there? Like, is what's he so frustrated about? 
And I apologize. I'm new to town. Just take it in the sights. Got invited to this fancy party. My friend, that's Sir Bjorn Bay. He's responsible for the army and the recent schism. Oh, wow. Is that why he's so tense? Yes, he's been... He's been working pretty hard to try to get the upstarts in order, try to reclaim the the defectors. Ooh, that's got to be tough. Really, really tough. Uh, what about with how are things going for you these days? Well, we're dealing with some some altercations in the streets. Mm, but I'm more worried about what's coming from his people. What do you mean by that? I mean, look, just between you and I. Like, by the way, do you want do you want a glass? Make a persuasion roll. When you said I'm new in town, all I could think of was John Mulaney. Like, I'm new in town. <laughs> I'm new in town. <laughs> Sixteen plus eight, so that's a uh, twenty-four. She leans forward. A great number of his family, in Matet, you may not know this, but for the civic duties, we are adopted into the house. Oh, you've been spending time with Valeria. She is by law my sister, and his family has a great number of defectors out in the Kurosi Desert. So there's some real tension there, right? He's he's keeping things going here in town, but friends and family, or I guess maybe brothers and sisters, are out there starting a rebellion, huh? Yes, they did not take well to the arrangement with the elves. Wow. A hundred-year war ended with a treaty did not fit their narrative. Well, that is crazy. I drink to that. My goodness, that is a tough position to be in. Just that's clink, clink the glass. That's what happens when you raise them in <laughs> that sort of. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> And then Valinda, this ice man, started walking towards the tavern. That sounds dreadful. But at this moment, I was not blue. I was golden. So I was able to fire up my golden, and he walked right into my fire that I had cast in front of him. Remarkable. And we destroyed him. That is simply incredible. You and your companions seem so exceptional. I would love, love to hire you for some work soon. Okay. Mm. We will do that. Terrific. Terrific. We'll not speak of it here. This is this is not a place for business. This is a place for... For dialogue, for, for, for passions. What is business? How are you... Where are you staying tonight? I am staying in... I believe it was a building... A building. In, oh, sorry, she's seen, she, she's been in buildings. We've explained building yeah, before. Building, yes, building yes, yes, yes. You've heard, overheard somebody talking about right, it. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, what is this? <laughs> no, when you walked in the tavern for the first time, I explained what a building was. Oh, that's got right, it, that's got right. It. Okay, yeah. okay, thank Damn, you. It's hard to keep job. track of what I know good and what job, I don't Hillary. know. <laughs> I have my moments. Um, we were sitting in the building, and I just point down the hallway in that direction. Oh, well. That's in that building is where I got this dress. I did make some alterations to it. What do you think? It's marvelous. Yeah, I can make some to, for yours as well. And I start like druid craft. Oh, 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 oh darling, darling, please, please save that for tonight. Please. What is tonight? Well, you and I may speak privately. After dinner, of course. Privately. Oh, no. Althea. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with me right now? Uh, what are, you're talking to? Uh, you're talking the, to Ernest. What do you? What the do you French guys? dude. Mm-hmm. Devereux. Lord Dev- Devereux. Lord Devereux. I'm writing that down with the bomb ascot. Bomb ascot. If you pull the pin at the bottom here, it will glow and then explode. <laughs> you actually learned that he's a textile trader, which is why his oh, outfit is so exceptional. That's that's actually kind of interesting. Um, okay, I, I, Althea's not really trying to like she's not engaging like mm-hmm. first like she's waiting for him to say stuff to her mm-hmm. yeah uh, he's volunteering yeah. He, textile trade mm-hmm. you know the roads are unsafe these days oh how so well all these sort of business with the uh, the issue with the giants and the, the deserts is, what issue with the giants in the desert ah uh, well some of them have not been returning from their missions from their their travels, their travels across the desert oh. are, are not reliable. And why do you think that is, sir? Ah, I can speculate. I, I'm not a purveyor of rumors. I'm a purveyor of textiles. This is my trade. I know, but it is your product that's moving through the desert, you said? Oh, yes. We, uh, we can move along the salt road all the way across the country. And across into Talim, we have always... Uh, <laughs> this matter of the war has always been... We have been exempt from it. Myself, Lady Thorn, Lord Moon, we are where, we are traders. Where are no you one f- bothers the traders. Where are you from? Uh, I hail from uh, Shimmer City. Ah, 
But so, uh, uh, it's, it's, I promise you, not what you think it is. I've heard the rumors too. It's a really up and coming place. Oh, up and coming, you say? Oh, yes. It oh. is uh, not as bad as people claim it is. Oh. It's a really lovely place when I it's, could, when I it's not understand. raining. I can understand. Oh, rain does not suit me well. Oh, well, it rains most of the time. I don't think you would get along with it quite so well. Yeah, I guess so. Um, And so they're having trouble getting through the desert. um, Yes, And then the war is also affecting? Uh, Well, the the elven war is over, uh, you know. (laughs) Praise, praise be! And he holds up a toast. To peace! (laughs) And there's a sort of awkward toast. Like, everyone just sort of raises their glasses. Peace. I'm toasting with water. (laughs) Okay. But, uh, I abstain from this toast. Not everyone no. believes the war is over. Uh, who wouldn't believe that? Obviously, I am not of this area. So <laughs> the war dogs, you know, they are they are bred for a purpose, and you try to tell them, no, now you are puppies. Who? They do not take this so kindly. Like act literal dogs? <laughs> I mean, metaphor, metaphor, my friend. Uh huh. Uh, well, who are they? Soldiers, the army, standing army of Matet. Oh, uh, standing army of Matet, you say? I'm mm-hmm. sure there are good ones among them, but generally they have been causing much trouble. They're not huh. bringing their best. <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> All right. Wow, that seems to be causing a lot of problems for your uh, your business. Who do you, do you trade mostly with, Talim? I trade with everyone. Or, or to yeah, everyone is who, you know who, who seems to be buying the most. Oh, cloth will never go out of fashion. That is uh, the beauty of my uh, job. Oh. Uh, now, perhaps uh, for the peace parties, you know, excitement. Uh, yeah. It is a bigger deal for the barony than for Talim, of course. The, yeah. the size of Talim. So this are is these, a pinprick to them. Are these your handiwork? Is that? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah. The shirt is mine. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, right. the, the others are uh, competitors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. At this moment, I just continue shredding my dress. <laughs> Uh, half of that is mine, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's already been purchased. Uh, yes, it is well, hers to go. do with as she please. Yes, it's I guess art. Um, okay, um, <laughs> I guess art. <laughs> Alfie doesn't really understand art at all. So I've scooted closer to the tiefling, Lord Moon. Uh, <laughs> fire, it's fine. Uh, mm. Treats air like food, though. So mm. uh, you said you were from Vettel. Yes. Doriagian uh, broccoli is my favorite, you know. Mm, I've not sampled Doriad. What is this? I I don't think I even caught your name. I apologize. Lord Moon. Lord Moon? Moon. Oh. I don't like this guy. (laughs) Maybe I I like him too much. Tell me about, uh, tell me about the toe. Oh, the tieflings will reclaim it. Huh. The gnomes have held it for too long. Hmm. It will be ours again. That sounds like a very ambitious goal. I, I applaud you. He raises uh, the glass to birthrights. Uh, I'm out of wine. I've already had three of them. Uh, person. And someone comes <laughs> forward and fills your glass. Person. Thank you. Here, I will do what you've said. Mm. Dink. Now I trade in spice, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm out of wine again. Person. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you tra- what spice? Uh, any spice that is required. Perhaps something for the wine. Uh, to y- savor it. Here in uh, uh, Matet, you put spices in wines. I put spices in wine. Dude, you want to put something in your wine? Don't do that. <laughs> this is Amanda speaking. Ivy, I'm in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> a little, a little voice in your head. <laughs> a little bit of. Ginger and cinnamon. Wow, I would love to try it. Yeah, please. Oh. Yeah. Sprinkle some in. Oh, let me taste it. Bro. Very, very interesting. You have to savor it, though. Wine should be savored especially, but... Well, um, I already finished it, but very, next, very interesting For the interesting next glass, taste. why don't we try vanilla extract? I would like that. Person. <laughs> Friendly person. I, I wish you guys could um, see Mike's face when he's doing this. It is very disconcerting. Really adds <laughs> I like his tiefling face. I have no idea what my face is doing when I do that voice. I like his tiefling it face. It turned bright red and horns jetted from your forehead. Oh, You're, that I knew. At one point, your eyes rolled in the back of your head a little bit. <laughs> more than once. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Welcome to Friday Night Quest. It's me, Mike Christensen, your host, and also your dungeon master. Thank you so much for listening to the episode. I'll get you right back to the second half in just a moment, but I want to go over just a few lots of announcements. Uh, we have a Patreon, uh, for those who missed it, uh, patreon.com slash Friday Night Quests. It exists. It is alive. You can come help support the show. Um, any dollar amount you can donate is an incredible help, uh, but if you donate at the $2 a month level, you get access to the Bardic Inspiration tier, and we read your name aloud on the show, like some people who I'm going to read in just a moment. But if you up that donation to the $5 a month level, you get access to the Detect Magic tier, and that is where you get to hear bonus episodes. You get our Dungeon Master notes as we're slowly unrolling those. And, you know, there's some more cool stuff around the road, but for now, let's go ahead and give a thank you to the backers uh, picking up where we left off. Mr. Oshu, thank you so much for your support. Elliot Jones, thank you so, so much. David Hillstrom, thank you. It is an incredible help. Jonathan Charles Endelman, thank you so much. Will Berthard, thank you. Russell McCracken, thank you very, very much. Mark Alexander, thank you so much. And Nooch, thanks for your support. Nooch, I will always say it just like that. If you're not able to back the show financially, we totally understand. If you can just share the show with a friend, uh, share the show on social media, or leave us an iTunes review. As some of you know, the last couple months we had a little contest going. If anyone used the word chosen in their iTunes review, we would read their name aloud on the show. Here are those people. Sir Matthias, Cap Cap, Charlie the Barf, Alicia Coy, Neon Chicken, and Scarp Iron 215 and a special bonus shout out to the person who had an acronym or a backronym in their review. Sir Matthias, thank you so, so much. A uh, special bonus shout out. I'm going to go ahead and roll a die and you got a natural 20. That's not even a joke. <laughs> what the fuck? That was statistically improbable. Um, all right. Uh, 20 cool things about you. Your iTunes review and 19 other things. Uh, but that's a secret just for you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I did not. That's a real. That was a real roll, guys. Um, that's all I got for this week. Uh, next week, I'll tell you some more cool stuff. But we got some announcements in the queue. But for now, I don't. I don't, don't want to hold back anymore. Let's go ahead and share the rest of this episode. Uh, kick some ass. Take some names. See you later. Bye. And, and I'm, I'm just, I'm playing the song and I just keep looking out of the audience and he keeps taking sip after sip after sip and I could barely keep a straight <laughs> face during the whole performance, but we get to the end mm-hmm. and by then, I mean, he is, he is sick as a dog and he has no idea why. I mean, it, look, we don't often do this, but mm-hmm. he's a good friend. <laughs> he, he really got a hoot out of it. It was a long night. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I mean, that's the last time I was in that town. But it sounds like it's changed quite a bit. That's hilarious. But uh, I got I to understand, like, um, with with all the uh, the people here at this table, I mean, like, what what kind of crazy parties do people get up into in here? I mean, I don't I, – I, I like to enjoy myself quite a bit. I don't know. Do you get along I in I tend to – I tend to always be working. What? What do you mean you always tend to be working? Well, it's it's difficult. You give yourself to the job. No family besides my sisters and brothers. Okay, so no attachments. That means you can have... You let loose a little bit, right? But, you know, you throw yourself into your work. I'm the head of the house. and It's just always one fire after another. Sometimes literally, but... You know, well, what, like, what are you really dealing with these days? It looks like, you know, everybody's... We got the peace toast going on over there. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone's very happy about the peace, except for the humans and some of the elves. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of friction, right? Better than there's war? There's also... No, 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 you can, you can tell me, you can tell me. Who, who am I going to tell, right? What do you know about the Platinum Panther? The Platinum Panther? Go ahead and make a history check, yeah. Okay. Gonna be a high DC. It's unlikely you've heard of them. When we when we come back, I think Ivy had called for me. I did. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. (laughs) That's a nineteen. Natural, because I have a zero flat history. Oh nice. Uh a cat burglar known as the Platinum Panther. You have heard rumors of. 
me hmm. out. Really? You know but, what? Um, I think I had a buddy who actually mm-hmm. bumped into the Platinum Panther one time. You know, I've, I've, I've heard I've heard about the the, the burglar. Well, he's set his sights on Matet. Really? There have been some some thefts. Some wait from who? She casts a glance over at the nobles across the table. Who is she looking at? She's looking at uh, make an insight roll. Okay. Can I make an Can I make an eyeball watch roll? <laughs> insight or perception? <laughs> okay. It's a very specialized perk. Insight or perception? Your it's a feat. They're both zero. It doesn't matter. Eleven? Uh, over at Devro, Thorn, Moon, that group of people, the okay. ones that your friends are talking to. Okay, so like something valuable? Uh-huh. They are hesitant to tell me the details, which tells me it was very valuable. Really? Wow. Oh my gosh, somebody here got burgled by the Platinum <laughs> Panther. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. It's I mean, between us. everyone at the table is aware, except your friends, but still, it's an internal matter. So what are they doing about it? Well, we are the ones who are meant to deal with it, and we have very few leads at this point. Yeah, I mean, look, I I play at bars and restaurants tonight. I could ask around, share me some details. I could do a little bit of looking for you. Mm, let's speak after dinner. Okay. Um, yeah, Althea, you were called over by Ivy. Yes, I've been uh, summoned. I I like sort of make a very like short forty five degree bow, and I go, "Excuse me," and uh, I course, walk away. Hello, yes, Althea, Miss Valinda Thorne here did say that she wanted to speak in private, so naturally I wanted to invite you. Uh, oh, well, that's fascinating. I hadn't considered... Well, I mean, I suppose if you're both interested in joining me. Uh, what do I glean from that statement? Make an insight roll. Okay. Can I roll as well? Uh, yeah, you can roll as well. <laughs> oh, that's a ten. Hmm. It's just an eight. Yeah, you're... I cannot tell you any more than you have heard or experienced. Have us both where? Well, I, I, you know, you don't want to go all the way back to your place. I could, I could bring you to my place. I live in the noble quarter, not down in the, not down in the culture ward. I'm, I'm, uh, I think you may be mistaken. I do want to go back to my room this evening. Well, if you when I go to sleep, because I oh, well, if you want to go back after, I suppose. After what? After our, our night together. Uh, if, if you don't want to join, you that's mean fine. after dinner. Well, I wanted to have a little rendezvous after dinner. What kind? What ra- rendezvous? This ch- like yeah. k- clues um, Althea off, and I I take um, Ivy by the shoulder, and I'm like, yes. you know, Ivy, I picked out some very lovely seats on the other side of the table. Oh no! Um, and I, I and I start. No, Valinda. you're sitting next to me, and but then I, I, pull, I would like to sit like, next to Miss Valinda. We're having a marvel a conversation. I do know more people than you now. Uh, that's actually not true. Um, but. Okay, if you want to deal with this situation yourself, by all means. And I walk away. Oh, well, perhaps another time. I now, don't hear that. Now, Ivy, please tell me more. Anyway, so then as we were leaving town. Star wipe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to go over to um, Phineas yeah. and go. And I'm like, Phineas, Phineas, Phineas. Yeah, yeah, Phineas. yeah, yeah. What's up? I think Ivy is being propositioned. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. here at the table? Like here at the table. By yeah. who? By <laughs> that. <laughs> by by that. By that. Anyway. Huh. And then Althea and I. <laughs> Althea. We I mean, need. We, she doesn't know. She doesn't know about the world, Phineas. I'm not prepared. I'm not a parent. Wait, you, you need to help me. <laughs> wait. Oh, oh. Oh, excuse, excuse me one moment. And I stand up away from the table. Wait. You, she's. She's. How long has she been around? She, isn't she like 90? Yeah, but but uh, do you think she knows about the, you know, the the arrows and, and the targets? Althea tied me up earlier to help me get around. Oh, oh. my. Oh, wow. You're right. I don't think she knows about those things. No. Um, I mean, could there be a, I mean, this might be a great opportunity, right? <laughs> On the job training? <laughs> you, you, what? I mean, she's definitely old enough. You're f- you're screwing with me right now, Phineas. You're joking. You don't actually think that she should have relations with this person she doesn't know. Uh, I well, also wanted to tell you, I can turn into so many things. Oh, God. Any animal you can imagine. Do you see what I'm talking what? about? Well, I that's guess. not exactly m- my interests, but 
I could be persuaded to try anything, I'm, really. I mean, the age is right, but I guess if, you're, if we're talking about consensual, if she doesn't know what's she, actually no, going to happen. No, she has no idea. Yeah, that could be bad. Yeah, no, it is bad. Wait, last time... Wait, she sets people on fire. She's that one icy night on fire. She no, gets I set the icy night on fire. Oh, that's right, you did. Why does nobody give me credit for anything here? Oh, did she make a bonfire? <gasps> oh, yeah, she made a bonfire. Yeah, that could still be bad either way. Yeah, no, she doesn't know about this, and it's going to trigger her, and she'll change colors again or something. Well, you know what I think is a great conversation that you can no, have right now? Phineas, is stop with Ivy. it. I leave this to you. No, and I turn I already, back around and grab my wine glass. I, I hold onto a shoulder, and I... Force yeah. him back around, and I'm like, Phineas, you will fix this. What do you mean I'm gonna fix this? What do you want me to do? I already tried to fix it. You try. You're you the just, you're the one who can talk well. Explain the arrow and the target to her, and if she's into what she's into. I it. don't want to explain arrows and targets. I'm not prepared for this. My parents barely even had this conversation. My mom was a blacksmith. Oh my god, I need to go. <laughs> Did you leave? Yeah, I left. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I I'm druid crafting flowers in Valinda's hair. Oh my. This is going to be exceptional. Aren't they beautiful? No. They are. As I'm walking away, I just look over and, and I like motion like, I will cut you, Phineas, if you don't fix this. Moon. Oh. Moon. Mm. Oh, Moon. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, Kay. Quatra. Quatra. Hmm? It's all on the fucking mind. No. No? Oh, no. I, <laughs> I, go so over, I go over to this and I'm like, nope. And then I walk. <laughs> Moon. Moon. Mm-hmm. I want to say something. <laughs> Because I think that you and me are now friends, and that's really fun. Okay. No, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. I have new friends. You know why? Because me and my friends are like... <laughs> we're elements! I'm... I'm wind. She's fire. Where'd she go? I don't know. And that mm-hmm. one over there is green. What are that? And then he's water. That's fine. Shadow, maybe. I don't know. Well, sound. Is that an element? But we're the elements. Isn't that cool? We're the elephants. We're the elephants. <laughs> just not our life consists anyway, of the four elements. Moon, I just wanted to tell you this. Mm-hmm. You're an outsider, I can tell. Yes, uh, yes, and I think we have a lot in common. Shut up. And I'm an outsider because <laughs> at the monastery, they said I was cursed. Because oh. of where I come from. And I, I don't see. like to talk about it, but you know what? It's fine. And that's. <clears throat> you know. I can understand being judged for where you come from. Yeah. I need water. Yes, you do. <laughs> but you and I have much in common. Do we? More than you might think. Are you a monk? Less than you might think. Ah. <laughs> well, what, uh, was a, well. <laughs> He just fades. <laughs> <laughs> he just immediately just fades. To just <laughs> gone. I picture it just fading to black. <laughs> like it fades to black and then we cut to and you're still just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. There's the people sweeping up around me. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep an eye on, on Ivy. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm going to keep a close eye on, like, when she goes to potentially leave uh, to hang out with this new friend. Mm-hmm. Um, as the next meal, as the next course is brought forward, all of the uh, cloches are taken off of the meal trays. Um, everyone has exceptional, wonderful meals in front of them, except for Margrave Sarji. Sitting on her plate is a burnt flower. A burnt oh. lily. Oh no! And the room just goes deadly silence. I use druidcraft to make it alive again. <laughs> uh, roll a wisdom check. That's a that's a heavy. That's that's quite a task. That's the natural one. Uh-oh. Oh! You cast your hand forward, and there's like this little rustle, and it shivers for a moment, and then the magic is it, the the flower is too far gone. Oh, that did not work. It's just quiet in the room, and then Margrave Sarji stands up. She's a human, right? No, she's the elf. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Gotcha. She turns to the Baron, looks him straight in the eye, and says, Fire them. And turns around and storms out. I could make you and, another if you'd like. And you see that she's like wiping her eyes and like storms out of the room. You also notice at this point, uh, Phineas, as you have an eye for who's at the table, mm-hmm. uh, the daughter never showed up. Was that the Baron's wife, by the way? Mm. Uh, intended. Okay. Yeah. Um, who is the plainest looking person at the table? Probably Quadra. 
Oh, God damn it. Where is the nearest soldier? Uh, well, actually, as you step outside, it's funny you mentioned that. There are soldiers, well, there are city guard sitting yeah. outside in their, in their oh, green city guard. In their green ponchos, but also yeah. not far from them is the man in orange just like sitting in the room outside just drinking. Oh, yeah. I want to go see the man in orange mm-hmm. and, and sit down because he looks like he looks like a guy I could talk to or not talk to. Yeah, he's actually just sitting like on some steps leading into the next room. Like it's one of those set of stairs mm-hmm. into the room and he's just sitting there with a bottle. Uh, I sit down next to him. Oh, I bring my cup over though. Okay. I sit down next to him and I don't say anything, but then I hold my glass out. He just looks at you and then pours it. Yep. And then I take a drink. It's not as easy as they all think it is. Nope. He doesn't say anything nope. else. Neither do I. Yeah. You two just sit there and sit there and drink. What is it? What what's in our cup? Oh, uh, brandy. Oh, okay. Oh, Valinda, and it's I'm pull- and I'm I'm holding her for. I'm oh, so no. sad. I know. It's dreadful. What's happened? What's happened? Darling. I think it's time we retire for the night. Where are we going? Oh, my 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 chambers, my room in in just. You did in the mention o- that you wanted to uh, speak about something. Yes, yes, of course, a job, but we can talk about that in the morning. Or right, you do not like to speak business. No, no, pleasure first, always, always have your dessert first, darling. But we we already ate. Well, yes, it's more of a in life sort of manner. Of then why don't you follow me to my manor and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, of course. And I, I, I look at Althea trying to... Like, no, Althea, we're, I'm, I'm leaving now. Does she well, know where I am? No, you're looking around for Althea. Oh, She's I'm not tra- in the room. I'm trying to find her. Yeah. I'm saying, Althea, I'm leaving now. While she's... Because I've, I've been tracking Ivy and her having this conversation. Mm-hmm. What's her name again? The... Phineas um, doesn't know, but just for the purposes of me, instead of saying that woman she's talking Lady to. Lady Thorne. Lady Thorne. Um... So for Lady Thorn, uh, as it looks like they're getting up to leave, um, I'm going to use detect thoughts on Lady Thorn mm-hmm. to hear bow, that chicka, bow, bow. that surface level. Yeah, is it just the music of bow, chicka, in the back of her mind, or like because detect <laughs> thoughts? Like, unless I want to probe deeper, she Don't. doesn't make a check. It's only yeah, it's surface. It's just thoughts. surface level. I'm trying to surmise like, is this are the surface level thoughts? You know, like I'm I'm gonna have a good evening. Yes, or, or the is, surface level thoughts are. Lady Thorn fucks, and <laughs> and I like that it's just <laughs> Lady, Lady Thorn, Thorn fucks. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Yeah, you you hear no Let's get it on. no ill will. You know she is she is she <laughs> thinks she has a vibe with she, Ivy, but she's just a horny bitch. She's just a horny bitch. Cool. <laughs> um, I as I see the Another two of them t-shirt. standing up. Um, <laughs> Ivy, do you have a do you have a second? Really, really quick. Yes, I, I I'm heading um, down down the way. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really really fast. I'll uh, wait for you, darling. Okay. One moment. Yes, Phineas. Uh, Ivy, quick question. Are you familiar with... Um, are you familiar with, uh, you know, I'm going to say it, sex? No. Okay. Like uh, when two people get together and they have a good time? But we've been having a great time. Yes. It's more of a physical thing. Like you, your physical stuff touches their physical stuff. And, and you know, you have a, an enjoyable time through two consensual adults. Uh, are you familiar with this? I don't understand what you're trying to say. Okay. Um, look, that thing that I just described is, is it's, a, it's important. It's very cool. It's, it's great. It can be fun. Uh, I think maybe uh, there's a, a good time and a, and a better time to, to, to experience those things. Uh, and I think right now, maybe not be the best time. So how about you hang out with Althea, myself, and, and Quatra for the rest of the night? I think there's a lot to unpack from this dinner, and I really need your help to kind of walk through it. I don't know what kind of physical things you'd be going up to. We're just going to her room. It, it's the thing I just described. and You uh, just said physical. Yeah, it's a... Uh, so, um... I don't really want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. I heard this. So, in room fucking 118, in room 100, no, it's room 103 of the monastery, we're supposed to fuck each other. <laughs> what? And, and I learned it from birds, honestly. I watched birds fuck, and I was like, I could do that. Oh, yeah, wait a second. That's a good point, Quatra. You, 
You've been in the forest for a very long time. You've had to have seen this at some point. When two animals, you know, kind of get up on each other and they... Oh, mating. Y- yes, but why mating. Would, why would she want to mate with me? It's not that She fun. finds you attractive and probably very interesting to talk to. She, she seems nice from what I've noticed. I don't believe we can bear children through each other. Well, you probably can also, do that. We I'm can not, have a good time. I don't know. I, I, I'm ready to have children. I'm I'm still learning no, 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 so no, no, much no. about I, the world. I don't think you need to worry about that. But if you're down for just the mating part without having the children part, I, you know, if you're into it. You don't lay eggs, do you? <laughs> I don't believe so. I've never laid one before. Okay, that's cool, then I think you're fine. Uh, hold on. So you know what mating is? Of course. Okay. Oh, do okay. I look like a child to you? No, no, I'm just making sure. I was. I said sex. You didn't know just, what that meant? Just know this, know this, know this. When the, master, the masters used to say to me, everybody's living in room 103, like their whole life. And I was like, why? And they're like, because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I was like, you're right. <laughs> and I had to break out of it. I couldn't almost been past that. I almost didn't pass that part of the monster. Well, it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. So um, uh, I'll I, leave you to it. I, I just I, I go up to Lady Thorne. I'm like, I had a very pleasant evening, but I'm not ready to have children. I'm so sorry. Oh, darling, I, I have no intention of. I, I, I'm sorry if you misread this. It's not that serious. Oh, I, okay. If you don't want to have children, I don't want to have children. I'm not sure what the point of all of this is Phineas I'm very confused you oh. got this don't worry about it she takes your hands I may have overstepped I I don't think you're ready just yet for why don't we do this why don't we meet for dinner tomorrow and, and we'll start there dinner sounds amazing yes why, why don't we do that of course and I like to craft a flower and give it to her marvelous thank you you're very welcome I'll send an attendant to your house and we'll figure out a time and a date and We'll set a date. Okay, I don't know where I live. I don't worry. I have that information from your from your colleagues. Excellent. I'm still very confused. Well, I'm gonna go have sex with Lord Moon. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Quatra fucks. <laughs> Lord Quatra fucks. Lord Moon just takes you by the arm. Let's go. Good right. night. Nice. <laughs> oh, you guys, I don't like Lord Moon at all. No, ew. Well, I like him. He's a greasy <laughs> son of a bitch. Well, I like him. Okay. <laughs> Grease in the elements, uh, mixing it last. Yeah. The elements. Creates fire. <laughs> oh my god. Fade to dark on Quattro for a little bit. Yeah. So for the next half hour, we're going to describe this and roll on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> How's that performance? He's going he's gonna to put you to bed. Put it, do a constitution I mean, check for stamina. Devil. He is a devil man. That was a decent roll. Uh, <laughs> oh, I rolled an eight. Ooh. Is that how many inches? No, yeah. sorry. Yes. Uh. All right, if you want to know more, he's going to put you to bed oh. <laughs> in a guest room. Oh, oh, I thought you meant like slang wise. Yeah. He's going to put you to bed. Like, yeah, he's going to put that up. ass to sleep. <laughs> no, nah, he's, he's going to oh. put you in a side room. Oh. Oh, uh, Aww. that's Lord nice. Man. He we, in. Can, that's fine. Can we start wipe to yes. the steps? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're back to uh, to you and uh, and Lord Bay and Lord Bay or Sir, ha- Sir Bay. Sir Bay. We've had so many bays. Did tonight. I miss so many Did I miss that his name is Bay? <laughs> Bjorn Bay. Bjorn Bay. Yeah. Bjorn Bay. Lord Bay. Baby Bjorn Bay. Bay. Bay spelled. Shit, you got a Bay. Everybody's got a Bay tonight. <laughs> <laughs> B A Y. Okay. <laughs> Damn. And oh, part of the have I gleaned? Plan. Have we spoken at all? I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I've gleaned no. his name in the language of love. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't said anything, unless you volunteer. No, anything. I, I just like hold out my, my cup for more, and I'm like, Althea, Bjorn, Sir Bay. <sighs> for now. Uh, cool. Are these your guys? And I like gesture around the room. No. No, my soldiers don't operate in the city we we guard the outside we we we're out in the field do i know what he's referencing like what i know yeah he's referencing an army versus a city watch. an army oh yeah there seems to be a distinction in the city army man yeah yes get get, get that mm-hmm. i was i was city guard myself one mm. time <laughs> that's <laughs> That's <laughs> fire whiskey is probably catching up. Huh? It's not fire whiskey; it's brandy. <laughs> Man, get everyone's on. gonna be faded to shit by <laughs> the end of this. Get you on picture. Wizard Tinder. You you'd probably do well on Wizard Except Tinder. Except for Ivy, who has not had a drop. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder is what they would call it in the fire. <laughs> hey. Yeah, in the fire plane, it's called Tinder. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Um, 
<laughs> he just sort of nods and says, I envy you these sorts of days. Why? The city watches. Not dealing with what I'm dealing with. Whoa. Not in, Whoa. The, not in the same way. Whoa. Do you know how hard... Do you know how hard it is to guard a royal? Do you know what I had to go through? Do you understand the things I had to see and the shit I had to deal with and the politics I had to keep quiet and the, oh my God, it's me, stop talking. And then she just goes back and she asks, like, it, like goes for more brandy. He pours more. It's almost empty at this point. He sort of sets it. He actually sets his cup down and just finishes off the bottle. Althea doesn't realize that he's poured it and she just ki- keeps going like, she just keeps reaching out for it and he then she realizes it. <laughs> that it's there and she's like, oh. Anyway. Anyway. <sighs> Have a good night. You too. And he stands up and totters away. Yep. Yep. And she like puts up a fist like she's like for no reason, but it feels like it's in solidarity. She's like, yeah. And then she looks at the city guards and she's like, I respect all of you. I respect your work. Good on you, mate. I'm sitting next to Phineas. Phineas, I just don't understand. Why would you want to mate for non... I, I really can't. Like, it's so much. Althea said that she would explain it, though, in detail. She <laughs> promised me. So if you can go ask her, she said... It's just when the animals and here's the do thing. it, it just seems so unpleasant. I know. Well, here's the thing. There's different... Like, like it seems like a task that needs to get done. R- well... There's a lot of enjoyment that can come out of that task. I can tell you right now. And most have you impor- done that task before? I I have. Um, but you know, uh, it's really how you do it, and the positions are important. And Althea said she really wants to go through the whole gamut of them. Have you made a child before? No, I hope not. Uh, no, 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 not that I know of. No, no child. How would you know? Well, I. Uh. I, oh my god. Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I no, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have a child. I feel like I would feel it internally, maybe. Oh, Let's no. see. We will look for my Auntie Austria, and we will look for your children. No, 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 no. I don't have any children out there. I'm oh, real- I just said Auntie Althea. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably how Althea That's feels, Freudian though. Slip, my friend. <laughs> oh, Freudian. Uh, me, and while we're talking, I'm keeping an eye out for um, the woman I was speaking to across from the table in green. Yeah. Who's the Duchess? No, she's a she's a dame. Dame, gotcha. I was yeah. I was keeping an eye out for the dame, and she cause she had mentioned she wanted to chat after dinner she's still around or is she like leaving the dinner she's at this point? she's like saying goodbye to um to the baron uh nodding and you actually look over and the um the other guy the guy in the robes who hasn't said anything he's just been reading the whole time he doesn't seem to realize any of this has happened he's just sort of eating and reading whatever he's working on does it look like he's just completely uninvested in what's happening at the table yeah he doesn't seem to give it. he's much like he's in his book and that's what he cares about hmm. was he speaking to anybody when i was sitting near him no he was just there. He was just there, huh. and he was just reading as he did it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go catch up with the with the dame. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, ah, yes, of course. I, I remember you saying uh, uh, that we were gonna catch up after the dinner. So, oh, wanna... yes, yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you were gonna tell me more about the platinum panther. What's going on with that? <laughs> That's right. Yes. Well, there's a modest reward, you know, only a thousand gold for his capture. Um, but if you are able to aid in our endeavors to capture him, you would be entitled to a share of it. Well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I mean, like I said, I talk to people in bars and restaurants at night. I do some shows. So, I mean, w- what kind of details do you got? I could, you know. <sighs> Honestly, nothing. The name and the fact that he seems to vanish without a trace. That's mm. all we have. Okay, okay. Hey, real quick, just just trying to get to know some new people in town. That guy back there at the table. Felonius, the, yes. Yeah, Felonius his deal you know he's well, like deep in that book he's a member of the wild house the wild house Who, who's the wild house they're the researchers oh like the documenting what's going on and things like that <laughs> more interested in everything else that's going on oh like kind of the global mm. happenings the the cosmosphere and magics and interesting so he's like documenting astronomy and like out in out in the world yeah, it's just he's a he's a learned man is he a monk is he a felonious monk? No. 
No. No one's getting this joke. I've heard. I know what the. I've heard of the. Th- I've heard of Thelonious Monk. <laughs> no, he's not Thelonious Monk. Uh, he seems like a scientist. It was a good oh. joke. It was a good joke. <laughs> well, you didn't laugh. I was laughing deep inside. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. The laugh was so deep. I didn't get it, but it was cute. How you look like you're about to burst. <laughs> I was very excited to make <laughs> this a monk. Is he a monk? Sorry. Well, I'll um, I'll definitely keep an eye out for uh, the the Platinum Panther. Uh, how do I how do I get in contact with you? Ah, come to the uh, the Dunn House and ask for me. Okay. Well, it's been great talking to you. Uh, again, Phineas is the name. You as well. And um, uh, I I assume we're not going to tell anybody about our conversation, right? Oh, I see no new no it, reason to. It's I, I forgot the name. You said it earlier. Who is the person who the Platinum Panther stole from? I remember that she didn't say anyone's name. Make another persuasion roll. 21. 21. Uh, Devereaux was the first, but most recently, Lord Moon. Oh, okay, that's right. That's right. The guy with the, the... Yeah, the hair. Okay, well, um... Well, I'll, I'll let you know if I hear anything and maybe get in on that reward. I would love for more information, yes. And, again, a matter of discretion... Of, of so far, the public is not aware of his movements. Of course, I keep most things between me and my, uh... No. Yeah. Well, if you don't happen to recall that we spoke, and she writes down... She takes out a little piece of paper, she writes down her name and the address. Come see me in the morning if you are fuzzy about any of these details. Perfect. All right. Well, have a great night. You as well, Phineas. And I pocket it, mm-hmm. walk back to the table. Sit at this down. point, the only person still at the table, it's just you and uh, Thelonious Wild. Whew! What a night, huh, Thelonious? Hmm? Oh, yeah, uh, lovely weather. Oh, I mean, you saw everything that happened at the table, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh huh. He sort of looks around. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice dinner. I, uh, the, the foul was my favorite part. Felonius, I'm, I'm curious. Why uh-huh. am uh, why why do you uh, come to events like this? Um, he looks around. Uh, uh gossip. I, lo- I love the uh, you know, uh, what's going on in the city. Seems important. Can I? I'd like to kind of read him a little bit better <laughs> to <laughs> sure. see if he's like bullshitting or. Uh, no, yeah, no insight role required for this. He doesn't know what's going on at the dinner. He barely followed what was happening, and he's just sort of not sure what's going on. (laughs) Come on, Felonius. It's fine. You can can be honest with me. Like, are you friends, family, with somebody here at the table? (laughs) He puts down his place. I'm the leader of the Wild House. We are the... We are the astronomers and the adepts and the mages and the sages and the researchers. So I have to be here when they have these dinners. Whoa, Astronomy? Science. I'm so invested in that kind of stuff. Really? Yeah. I'm. I'm always like, you know, you go to a lot of places, and you know, it's always about fish or about dancing or about drinking or stuff like that. Yes, and, you it's know, just all of those are distractions. Yeah, it's uh, tons of distractions, right? And like sometimes you just want to get into the work, right? You just exactly. want to invest in the science. He slides his plate over as well as someone else's, and a glass shatters to the floor, and he whips the book around. There are four stars see if you look right here we yeah. always thought this one was a, was just one right okay. it's two that one is actually just so so far away that we hadn't been detecting its light is separate yet wow that is <laughs> can very you fathom interesting. how far away it is that it would appear that small to us it's a red dwarf it's massive in size but but to us it seems infinitesimally small that is truly truly interesting where where do you have like I, I, clearly you must with the rest of your scientists, have like a really cool spot where you guys can research together. Oh, the house. W- which house? The wild house. Oh, is that where you guys get together and do all your research and stuff like that? Yes, I'm a member of the wild house. Uh, uh, the way the guard works and the way the army works and the way my house works, we are, we are, for want of a better term, sold to the house at an early age. We join up second sons, third daughters, that sort of thing. And once we are a member of the house, we're family. So our house is specifically designed. We have a telescope. And we can look upon the cosmos. Wow, that's amazing! What, what's what's like the biggest thing you guys have been onto these days? I mean, this, by the way, this red dwarf thing. This is this crazy. changes everything. I I agree. This changes our fundamental understanding of of the perception of the sciences. Wow, that is deep. We cannot trust 
what we've been told before, right? We're, we're working off broken information from before the collapse. Uh, the, the, the scientists who survived it, their, their notes, their research, it, it, it's fragmented at best. But what we're understanding is just the depth of what we don't know. Mm. Well, here's the problem, right? You're at dinners like this, people don't really understand red dwarfs like we do, right? Of they course. don't understand the constellations and the everything. Absolutely. How do you break this kind of stuff down to like the common person? Like when you're having a conversation, if you, if you were to describe your most biggest achievement you guys have unlocked in like the last, I don't know, year, like how would you even communicate that to like a regular person? Well, quite honestly, if they wanted to read my dissertation, they're welcome to it. We publish it in the library and they're welcome to read it. It's a full four volume set. Um, that's, I think, the simplest language available. It's already won the Pulitzer and hasn't even been published yet. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, uh, it was great. Feel free to stop by the house if you want a copy What's of this. What's the tradition. address? The Wild House. But the address for the Wild House. You, you can hardly miss it. It's the one with the telescope. Perfect. Thank you. And I get it from the table and leave. All right. At that point, we star wipe away and take a bathroom break if we want to. Okay. I'm going to get some water. Thanks for listening to Friday Night Quests. Your heroes will return in two weeks. Ivy is played by Amanda Joy Condon. You can follow her on Twitter and Tumblr at Amanda Joy. That's spelled a man. Duh. Joy. Althea is played by Hillary Levi, who is on Twitter at Hillary Levi. Phineas is played by Jay Jones, who can be found on Twitter at Jay Awesome Jones and on the podcasts Roll the Seas and Wrath and Glory. Quatra is played by Jeremy Fox, who can be found on Twitter at J. Lee Fox. My name is Mike, and I am on Twitter at SuperGeekMike. Special thanks to Kyle Fryer for composing our theme song. You can follow him on SoundCloud for other totally radical music. This episode also included music by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. You can find the track listing and credits in the show notes. This episode also included ambient sound from TabletopAudio.com. If you'd like to support the show, you can head to patreon.com slash Friday Night Quests and send a little bit of money our way to help keep the lights on and help us keep making this very cool show that we like to do. Photos and character art can be found on the show notes on partialart.com. And while you're there, you should check out some of our other podcasts. I recommend Wrath and Story, a hilarious RPG show set in the Warhammer 40k universe. If you have any questions about the show, you can email us at FridayNightQuests at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr at Partial Arc. Thanks for listening, and until next time, play fair and have fun. Oh, orange, here's that.